Elon Musk is already making headlines for taking control of Twitter, and a now deleted tweet from the billionaire is drawing criticism for pushing a potential conspiracy theory. Musk replied to a tweet from Hillary Clinton in which he claimed there was a quote, a tiny possibility there might be more to this story than meets the eye. He, of course, is referring to the attack on the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. That's as alternate theories of the attack spread online, often from sites known for tra trafficking and false reporting. The response has since been deleted by Musk. News Nation correspondent Alex Capriello is live for us this morning with the latest on this story. Alex, it's a little confusing. Can you make sense of it for us, please? Yeah, I mean, the easiest way to put it is that it just really hasn't been a very smooth ride at all for Elon Musk since this Twitter takeover. The world's wealthiest man has had to deny rumors about potential job cuts, as well as take criticism from some of the most influential people in the world, all while a lot of bad actors right now are blasting the platform with racial slurs and other hateful content in a attempt to sort of push the limits of their free speech here. A study by a group called the Network Contagion Research Institute, an organization based out of Princeton, New Jersey, that tracks online threats, reports that the use of the N-word on Twitter spiked 500% just within the 12 hours since Musk took over. That drew widespread condemnation from many, including LeBron James, a megastar with more than 52 million followers who wrote, if this is true, I hope Elon Musk and his people take this seriously, adding so many damn unfit people saying hate speech is free speech. Twitter's head of safety and integrity, Yoel Roth, reacting to the spike of hate speech, writing, quote, hateful conduct has no place here, and we're taking steps to put a stop to an organized effort to make people think that we have. Musk says that he has formed a content moderation council, which will assess how the platform moves forward. He says no major decisions or account reinstatements will happen until that council meets. Recently on News Nation's Cuomo, Kara Swisher spoke about the tightrope that Musk must now walk, allowing people to use Twitter in a way that they want, but also making it a safe space for advertisers to allow the business to grow. You have to be very careful about what you say online because it can incite people, especially people who have some possible mental issues or, or just get down that road of radicalization that they can't come back from. The question is, what do you want to create? So if he wants to create a free-for-all, he can do that, but he's not going to sell a lot of advertising and then it's going to go away. And so you have to decide what you want to do. And perhaps the last thing that Musk wanted was some bad PR for himself at this point. Unfortunately, he got himself caught up in his own Twitter troubles. As you mentioned at the top of this segment there, Mitch, uh, tweeting out a link to a widely debunked anti-LGBTQ conspiracy theory about that Paul Pelosi attack. He immediately, pretty much afterwards, deleted that tweet, uh, and he's getting blasted for that. And Alex Musk started emptying out the C-suite at Twitter last week, and there was some reporting over the weekend there might be some more layoffs, job cuts, redundancies, what have you, on the way. What's the latest on that? Yeah, this was a report that we saw over the weekend uh, that cited unnamed sources saying that job cuts were imminent, saying that Elon Musk was planning uh, to initiate some layoffs ahead of this November 1st deadline when uh, employees were due this stock grants, uh, saying that this was a way for him to avoid paying that out. Elon Musk uh, reacted to that news saying that's false, not true, and those are just rumors. Even still, of course, Mitch, we're going to be watching uh, to see if anything comes down today, given that November 1st is already tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Alex. We appreciate that. He is live for us this morning. We are now Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.